This is part number five of the no cost list building system. And in this part, we will discuss getting traffic to build your email list up. So here's the key part to get traffic to your opt-in page. That's step number seven, is to focus in on every traffic generation method possible. And at the bottom here of this page, you're gonna see some red arrows that you can't miss right now. And that blue circle in there means landing page. That's your landing page, that's your squeeze page, that's that page that you should have set up that gets people interested in your free offer and gets them onto your list. Each one of these red arrows signifies traffic, a traffic source of some kind. And so the whole point here, just so you can, I wanted to represent this as best as possible, is you want to just focus on sending all the traffic you can to this landing page, whether it's you know, on the sidebar, link on the sidebar of your blog, if it's at the end of your blog post, if it is in your article marketing that you do. And we're going to discuss each traffic method and several different traffic methods here that you can use. But it's all about sending traffic and funneling traffic all to that opt-in page so you can start building up that page and building up the opt-in subscribers because that's where your business is ultimately going to grow is with more subscribers. The more subscribers you have, the more people you can reach and the more possible commissions you can generate as an affiliate, the more sales you can make with your own product, and the more people you can help and impact. So it's all about getting traffic to that page. So keep this in mind as we go through this traffic model. We're sending all the traffic possible to that landing page that we set up. Traffic is what gives your online business life. You need targeted groups of people to view, view your stuff. So we're not just talking about any old traffic. You know, we're not talking about going out and purchasing these 10,000 hits for you know a couple dollars, uh, because obviously this is no cost, and so we're not paying for traffic. But those are that's junk traffic anyway. So we don't need to worry about that junk traffic. So we're not looking really so much for quantity of traffic as much as we are for quality of traffic. So the traffic methods that we are going to be talking about here all produce quality traffic meaning they're gonna view get you the kind of views and looks at your pages from people that are interested in what you have to offer because if they're not interested in learning how to cure their golf slice and they're interested in making money online that's not going to be a good match but if there's somebody actively seeking how to work from home or run a business from home and you have a report related to you know five tips to make money online or make more money online that would be a good opt-in for them it'd be a really good connection so you need to make sure we're targeting the right people in each one of these methods do that sales or opt-ins cannot happen without traffic just because you build a landing page just because you build a good blog it doesn't mean you can just let it sit there and they will come like a field of dreams you know that's that's not what it's about it's about building something up and then getting traffic getting foot traffic in the doors through marketing more important is how you get the right kind of traffic that's ultimately what it boils down to we want to get targeted people to our opt-in page so send all your visitors to your landing page no matter what so I wanted to show you that in this diagram so it makes sense all your visitors are going to be going to this landing page so all these traffic methods we talk about they need to end up on your landing page the one that you just created recently so here are several free traffic methods social media post Facebook you can go out there on Facebook there are a multitude of targeted groups depending on really any niche market you're in there's groups and there's online communities built in just through Facebook loads of those there is Twitter as well you can build up a Twitter following you can go out and follow other Twitter users you can go in there find people that are in your niche market follow those people and then see who they are following who's following them so find the big players which maybe have 10,000 or so Twitter followers or maybe 5,000 and go out there and see who is following them and start to follow those people next thing you know they will follow you back and now you're building up a targeted following of potential users you could also go out to Pinterest and you could create you know pictures related to your niche market pictures that depict uh, your niche market or problems within your niche and you could create Pinterest pinning boards as they're called to really draw you know draw more people and get more excitement uh, Google Plus that's another uh, definite possibility for you it's great because as you do different sorts of content like if you do a blog post or you do a video you could post it out on Google Plus and that video or that blog post then would lead people into your landing page squidoo.com or hubpages.com these are really good sources of traffic they're high traffic they want high quality unique content so if you can create unique 
content rich pages to send traffic to you can be in business you can do very very well and you can create really good high quality squidoo pages or hub pages with different modules on them and use that to funnel traffic into your landing page so link to your landing page from those pages youtube.com this is where you could create short and informational videos to draw your market in you could find questions that people have in your niche market and then you could create very short informative videos around those topics to bring them in write and submit a press release about your free report so you've you've created a free report or a free offer of some sort and you have it on your opt-in page that would be worthy of writing and submitting a press release you can google the phrase submit press release free to find more submit press release free and you'll come across a great updated list of press release sites that you can list on look deep into the results too. look for the first the second third and fourth pages on Google to find many more free press release sites that you could submit to also when you're on these sites you're gonna see what a press release looks like how it's formatted and it's typically gonna answer the questions you know who what why when and where so who is the press release about it's about your website uh, what is it about it's about your free report and how it helps people when was it listed when was it created and you could talk about you know just last week or just recently how did you you know come about doing this what inspired you to do this those are the types of questions to answer in your press release and then make sure you're linking that you're providing a link that sends people to get to your opt-in page also, posting on relevant niche forums is a phenomenal way to get traffic. And again, I mentioned that forums that allow signatures, because that's really important. If there's no signature link that appears below each person's post, it's not going to do you any good to have um, you know, hundreds of posts or thousands of posts or whatever, because you're not going to necessarily be able to pick up uh, the audience that you're looking for. So be active and engaging on the forums. Don't spam your link. And when you're looking for forums in your niche, you could go out to a site uh, called Board Reader as well. You could Google this phrase. It's called Board Reader, and it's a software where you can type in keywords and find uh, boards, you know, forums, and message boards related to your niche market. You could also just go out to Google, type in your niche and the word forum, and look for those forums as you're browsing them look to see if they have a signature link some of them may not let you put your signature in there until you've got five to ten posts and that's completely fine uh, but it's all about being active and engaging ask questions answer questions don't spam your link so don't put your link into the box say hey I created a free report that discusses this because that's going to end up getting you banned but if they if they allow a signature line, what you can do is say, you know, click here for my free report on ending uh, bad breath or on fixing your relationship problems or be better at long distance relationships, those types of things. Provide that link in the signature. Write articles. Submit quality articles about your niche to top sites online. So these top three article websites that you could write and submit articles to, I mentioned these and referenced these in the first part of this process when we were talking about how this system works and we were discussing you know places to go to find good content for your free report. Uh, but these are also great places to submit your content to. And in the author resource box, make sure you include a link to your squeeze page and your free opt-in page. So ezinearticles.com, articlesbase.com, and goarticles.com. Those are some really good article sites as well. You could also Google the phrase submit content in quotes and then your niche. So submit content weight loss, submit content relationships, submit content dating advice, submit content make money online, submit content internet marketing. You get the idea there and you could find niche places where you could submit your content and get further traffic and traction going to your site. You could also on these sites use two links in your signature. You could link one of the links going to your squeeze page, another link to maybe your blog to build that up a little bit more. Write a short report or PowerPoint. You could upload to a site called edocr.com and then also slideshare.net. So you could do a short report or a PowerPoint uh, just like this here with bullet points about your niche market. Upload it to these sites. You could further record this PowerPoint and then you've got a YouTube video as well that you're uploading. Link to your opt-in page in the bottom of the PowerPoint or the bottom of the short report. Join relevant groups on Facebook related to your niche market. We pretty much touched on that at the, the one of the first traffic methods when talking about social media so there's lots of groups to join there within your niche 
post your squeeze page link where it makes sense. You don't want to go in there and spam it and spam the links, but you can put it in the in there. Create your own Facebook page. You could create your very own Facebook page about your niche or your very own Facebook group, and then you could funnel traffic uh, through these pages. So from your blog, you could link to this page. You could uh, send people from within different groups to your own page, and that way you're getting people onto your own platform so you can do your own marketing to them. Also, include your opt-in form in sidebars of your free blog. So if you have a blogger blog or a Tumblr blog, you could use the opt-in form on the sidebar. So you could take your opt-in form and embed it on the sidebar of your blog. Create lots of content for your blog because that's really what it's going to boil down to. It's all about creating content, good content that gets eyeballs and gets people reading your materials. Ad swaps is another good idea. This is where you, they're shared email swaps. So what it entails is you find people with relevant lists in your niche and you, you agree to a certain date and time when both of you will email your respective list. And they will send traffic to your opt-in page and you will send traffic to their opt-in page. It's a really good way to swap traffic or swap leads in a sense. Uh, but the beauty of it is your leads still stay with you even after they get them. So you're actually building up your list and building a partnership. Do this after you've built your list up a little bit. So you probably can't do many ad swaps until you have a list of, you know, four to five hundred. Sometimes you could get away with it for a smaller list of like a hundred people. Um, but you don't want to overuse this method either. You don't want to bombard people with this. Uh, this works really well in the internet marketing niche. There's a lot of them, a lot of health ad swaps as well, and other like uh, forex and and those kind of niche markets like the stock advice and stock trading markets do have ad swaps too. Um, but that's a method you would do after you've built your list up more. But I did want to mention that. This is a really good way to build that list up is to offer services of your own or free offers on product launches. So what you would do is contact product owners in your niche, people that are launching a product in your niche market and offer to do something for them and in exchange all you want is just a link on their download page. So you want to have a link on their download page. A lot of them may not be open to this but if you're doing like a free service for them, uh, something that could help them or their subscribers, maybe you're doing a free training they're going to be more apt to give you some space on their download page because it gives them an additional bonus. So offer relevant content that they could use. Um, a good idea, you could use a site like munchai.com or look for the leading launch boards for updates on what's coming up next. And that way you can have a leg up and contact them ahead of time and say, hey, I see you have a launch coming, on, coming up on such and such date. I would like to create a free report to put on your download page. And you can see what they say. Sometimes they'll say yes. Sometimes, you know, most of the time they may say no. But it's just about putting yourself out there, seeing what happens because it's a great untapped tool to find all kinds of you know users to get onto your email list be consistent with your traffic methods it takes more than one article it takes more than one video it takes more than one blog post more than one press release and you get the idea so those who have success they might have 10 to 20 really good articles those who have success might have 20 to 30 videos out there so it's going to take time it's going to slowly build up to where you have that nice sustainable traffic Traffic is a process that you should never stop. You are probably never going to be done with your traffic generation because that's the only way to keep getting sustainable income and passive income and keep getting that traffic that keeps coming in for you. So now it's time to get out there, start work on getting traffic, and then once you scale this up, eventually you could move into more of the paid traffic solutions. But for now, let's get out there and start building our traffic up.